Can I eat Skittles while asking you this next question? Only if you give me two of them. Yes! I'd give you more, but I really like Skittles. Was your, two things, was your mother a strong influence in your life and also are you afraid to die? First, to ask, answer the second question, no, I'm not afraid to die. Why? Because I feel like that's gonna be the most beautiful day of my life. Mm. And sleep, eternal? Yes. Rest. Yes. We all love sleep. Yes. Why are we afraid of death? Yes. So that's interesting, and then about your mother, I mean. My mother was strong. Uh, she raised me and my two brothers. She was a single parent. Was she, she smart, very smart? Very smart, she held a couple of jobs. She was very into church. Um, she had a, a, a iron fist, you know what I'm saying, and an iron belt. With an iron her, belt? Yeah, for real. My mom was serious. All the homies knew my mama didn't play no motherfucking games. Yeah, my father had up. a chainmail belt, but it was, he was into Renaissance fairs. Do you hate anyone? This motherfucker's on the borderline, but I don't, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> for the three-point line switch. Yeah, for real, though. Same I just job. can't have no whole hate in me. I don't, I'm not built that way. Do you like Totino's pizza? Never had Totino's. <sighs> If Where's there's Tatino? one thing that you can take from this 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 friendship, this great, perfect, best friendship. Where's Totino's? Totino's Pizza is a frozen pizza. It's the best thing oh, to eat. Oh, you're talking about that shit that you get out the grocery store. Yes, yes. In the bees eyes, and you put him in the uh, oven. So good, yes. Do you love it? I love it, because I used to try DiGiorno. <laughs> Yeah, but they say DiGiorno, it's like delivery, and then it's like, okay, why don't I just get fucking delivery? <laughs> or have Totino's, it's like frozen pizza, and you're so high, and it's 3.30 in the morning, and you have two different YouTube videos playing on different tabs, but you can't find out which tab is which <laughs> YouTube video. So it's both of them are, you're listening, and you're trying to pay for tax. Yeah, Totino's and TurboTax. I <laughs> Is this a player move? Yeah, that's a real motherfucking player move. Don't you let that bitch go dead before you get some head. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I got it. My wife's in New York, so I gotta get a, I gotta get on a plane right after this. They want us to talk about the uh, upcoming animated movie, the Emoji movie that comes out. Oh, yes, that'll be, that's great. What voice are you playing in that movie? So I play the voice of Gene Meh. And he's a meh emoji, which is that sort of cynical, like, yeah, it was okay, whatever. Sony clearly saw an opening in the emoji entertainment market. Mm -hmm. That was a niche that hadn't been filled. Mm -hmm. was a movie about emojis, mm -hmm. okay? I just, I like making children laugh. Although, mm -hmm. tell me if you disagree, children don't deserve to laugh as much as adults because they're not aware of their own mortality. So... That's, that's sort of where the Emoji Movie comes from. And then I got a bunch of hipsters online being like, oh, we do the Emoji Movie, what's that all about? Like, <laughs> you know, maybe like that, like, what the fuck? Like, oh, I guess that was a real cash grab. First of all, not a cash grab. Not a very well-paid gig. <laughs> Second of all, this fucking movie's not for you, idiots. You're just, go back to commenting on IMDb about how Wonder Woman was overrated. Like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> That's not for you. You can watch Deadpool. You can watch Silicon Valley. You yep. have lots of other things that I'm doing that you can go and do. Just like I always say, have you seen Yogi Bear 3D? Mm-hmm. You have? I love Yogi. I got grandson, man. I gotta go see all that old good shit. Yes, this is, this is the greatest moment in my life. It happened. It happened here. Hey, boo-boo. <sighs> God damn it. Thank you, Ken Jelly Miller. Stone thank Park. you, Leslie Miller. Thank you to all my family, Count and Gentry, Morgan. Thank you to just say, this is my Oscar winning speech. It happened. I'm here. He's seen Yogi Bear 3D. I can't repeat it enough that that's the best thing I've ever done. And my life is now a downslope from that. And people think it's a joke. They're like, ha ha, he mentions Yogi Bear. That was the best thing I've ever done. But I couldn't imagine being more high this close to Adidas's. Is it Adidas's or Adidai? Must be Adidai. Are those scented candles? No, that's my weed line. Least Fuck, by Snoop. man. We should do scented candles. I do Imagine got, if you had scented I, candles I, I that do smell like weed. I do. They, they're called the Barters uh, Family Collection. Do we have some on hand? Um, Let's get him one of those Barters candles real quick. Between 20 and 100 branded products. Somewhere. Somebody grab me one of them candles. Is Jasmine here? In there. So do you... And what's, what's the song that you don't like? That you're like, 
ah, God damn it, I hate hearing this again. Or you're just like, I don't like the, I didn't do it perfectly, or. I got like, a lot of them. Oh, really? Hell yeah. I like everything that I've ever done. I think that it's, it would be useless to sort of look at anything that I've done and be like, oh man, I wish I could have done that, or whatever. I just simply see it as a thing that occurred, like passing by a tree or something. Yes, I am very high. We inside the smoker studio. I'm gonna ask you some questions you can answer to the best of your ability. What's the first thing you do or think of when you wake up? <sighs> it's so sad. Work. Hot or cold? Cold from Denver. Ta Stone cold, motherfucker. Tacos or burgers? Hamburgers. What, what could be more American? Ass or titties? Titties. Always just the most perfect ones are on my wife's chest, and she just will look at me sometimes and be like, look at this, I got two of them. <laughs> she's right. God damn it, she's right. What's your favorite cereal of all time? Lucky Charms was the first thing that came to mind. What's the worst job you've ever had? The worst job I ever had? I worked at McDonald's, and one time Me I was- too. Yeah? Breakfast shift. <sighs> I would work during the day, and I fucking, I dropped all these cups, this huge stack of <laughs> cups, and they all dropped all over the floor, and I'm like, ah, shit, so I pick them up, and I start to put them into the cup thing anyway, and the manager's like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, I'm putting the cups, and he's like, they just dropped all over the floor. 50 cups, you just dropped 50, we gotta throw all those cups away. And I was like, dude, what are you talking about? Why would we need to throw away these cups? He's like, throw the fucking cups away and get your ass back to the fucking cashier desk or whatever the fuck he called it. I go over there, I fuck up sequentially orders to the point where one dude's like, what is your problem, man? I am asking you for a fucking Happy Meal. He didn't curse, but his daughter was there. He's like, I'm asking you for a Happy Meal? And I asked, why can't you press the buttons to make that happen? I got fired from the cast register and put on fries, where the main thing is that you do three arcs, like the arches of salt. And one time he saw me just, just do one big one, and he's like, it's fucking three arches, TJ. Why don't you fuck, it's, you need to, what, it's, there's a picture of it. <laughs> that was the worst fucking job I ever had. And I worked at Radio Shack. Some zip zap, tiny fucking Radio Shack, remote control cars. I've been in the thick of it. If you could remake any movie and star in it, what would it be? Soul Plan. <laughs> Didn't have to think about it. Had it in the chamber. You fucking pulled the trigger, so did I. That motherfucker said so funny. Had it, had it, used it, sniper. Did that. Did that shit. Hi, this is Stormy Franz, and we are reporting you live from city to city, titty to titty, and we are on Horny Town, North Carolina, and the weather here is gonna be super wet. Um, it's gonna be a cyclone down, down there. It's gonna be... Um... <laughs> I'm sorry, I entered uh, the wrong, I'm so sorry. So I looked directly into my own eyes and I said, you are either masturbating in a public bathroom or not, <laughs> but you need to look at your, oh, my show. oh. This is my show now, the Gore Show. <laughs> I like these two. What's happening, baby? Snoop Doggy Dog! Let me shake oh, your hand. Snoop! I'm sorry, I am so excited! So, let me shake, your hand. Let me shake you your hand. Yes, yes! Oh, Snoop! Snoop! Oh, I'm sorry, oh, Snoop! Oh, you're knocking all kinds of shit so over here. Branded hand. items! I'm constantly knocking into branded items! Let me move this water shit out the way before you've been hit my goddamn Keep that away from me. Water doesn't melt me, it makes me grow. Are you like a, a, a gremlin? Because you what? know the gremlins, when they put water on the gremlins, they just, they where go I'm crazy. From, where I'm from, saying that someone is a gremlin would be equivalent to saying the N-word. Oh, for so, real? I'm sorry, yes, dog. no, it's okay. No, I'll take that no, back. No, you would not know that, but I'm very upset that that film sort of, well, let's move on. Snoop, have you won? Oh, whoa. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Whoa! Is that, 
Is that a large marijuana cigarette? Yes, that is, and it's all for you. Really? All right, I'll try. Get into my lips! Here I go! Yeah. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah, smoke that shit! Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, look at my eye, now you know I'm high. Yikes, is my eye moving? Is my right eye moving? <laughs> yeah, motherfucker let, moving. Let me turn towards you. Hey, that motherfucker moving, Goldberg. Yeah, it's moving fast, yeah. Yeah, you smoking Tell like you a broke store. Hey, yeah. left side just the same. Right side yeah. fucking with my motherfucking brain. Yeah. yeah. I smoke that shit. Smoke it, choke it, motherfucking choke it. Okay, you <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think it's like a... <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. Mm. So, do you have Skittles? Mm-hmm. Yeah? I like Funyuns. You like Funyuns? I like Funyuns, too! Wait, stop! So, <laughs> have you won life? Are you the coolest person alive? I think I'm one of the coolest people in life, and I would have to really? say that I have won. Now, I have powder blue fur. Where you grew up, would that be okay? Would that be cool? You be one of us, you be cripping, cuz. Yes, we be cripping! Oh, we be cripping! Now you, do you crip walk when you're walking? Well... I mean, do you always crip walk? No. No. I crip walk from time to time. You do? And when are those times, special occasions? Special occasions, good times, good and time. sometimes hard times. You're a rapper, a football coach, you have a television show, you used to have a talk show, that's now mine. Why not just chill on the beach? Why be so fucking busy, buddy? I mean, I mean you're from the LBC. You know, Gorberg, I, I feel LBC, like... LBC, baby. Yeah, I feel like I'm not done yet. I feel like I got a really? lot to do. I feel like I'm having fun. I'm young. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty. I'm fast. I'm unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, I'm just having a great time. I'm, I'm just into what I do, and I love doing what I do for the people who enjoy it. Yes, if I could catch you, I would eat you. <laughs> but you are fast. You are too fast. I'm so excited. I just, I've never been to a cool person's space before. I don't, I've never met Usher. <laughs> I don't know John Legend. Rick Ross, give me your thoughts. Well, and that's a rhyme, listen to it. Rick Ross, give me your thoughts. <laughs> hey, Stu. I, 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 I think you can rap. Really? I think you got rap in you, dog. I think you pivot like Hillary Clinton, buddy. I ain't trying to get political, but I read it really. I will cut this out. I think ah. you... Whoa. Whoa. Whoa buddy, right. can, you, can you put a verse on this? What? Say what? Okay. All day, I just went L.A. Because we own New York. Yeah, you know what they say. Make it in the large apple, apple, crumble, let me out! Girl, I don't like blue, I don't like violet. I like teal. I take my time like Snoop Doggy Dog. Watch me. I don't like dogs, but I like Snoop. I like Snoop Doggy, but I don't like walking or jogging. <laughs> no, just kidding. I do like jogging. Snoop, cut the music. Do you like jogging? Do I like Snoop, jogging? Snoop, be real. Do I like to jog? I am fucking high. Do I like jogging? Yep. Um, I like running. Jogging is for pussies. That's what you're saying. <laughs> Snoop? Yeah. Jogging is for pussies. You have a show, Snoop and Martha's Potluck Dinner. Mm hmm With Martha Stewart, the, no, the criminal. What is Martha Stewart like in bed? <laughs> Sexual intercourse, and I know very little about it. What I do know <laughs> is that horny goat weed does not work. <laughs> That's the one thing. But outside of that, <coughs> human sexual intercourse is very, what's she like in bed? Well, does she purr like a kitten? <laughs> is that pussy Teflon? You know what I'm talking about. Slide in, slide out, baby. <laughs> Well, Gorberger. Don't even throw in the dishwasher. <laughs> Gorberger. That Teflon pussy. 
<laughs> Gotta get it. Go burger. Don't need no uh, oil in that pan. I'm really not the, I'm really not the kiss and tell type. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> I know. That means that you've had sex with her. Now, did you two meet in jail? Behind the bars. VH1's behind the bars. <laughs> Snoop fucking Martha Stewart. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the strangest mental image ever conjured. Snoop, will you play a game with me? What kind of game? It's a game called Art or fart! Let's or do it. Or fart. Or I will fart. say it's I will say something, some topic or subject, and you will tell me if you think it's art or fart. Okay? Gotcha. Yes! Dioramas. Art or fart. Diorama sounds like something interesting. Dioramas. I'd have to say it's art. Art. I like it. Modern hip hop. Art or fart? I think it's art. Really? So you don't look at current hip hop and say, I don't know about this. You say, oh, it's good. I think a lot of it is great, you great. know? And then it's always bad music in every era, yes. you know, but you don't look at the bad, you look at what's good. And I think it's a lot of great music being made and, you know, shout out to all of the new artists that's making great music. Yes, you look at what's good. I love Glass it. Glass half full. Glass half empty. Exactly. Yes. Forgery. Art or fart? That's fart. I hate when a motherfucker sign me for my name without yeah. my permission. Well, you can't do that. I whoop fuck on you. Fuck that motherfucker. Yeah. I'll fuck you up. You suck my dick. That's a fart. Yeah, you yeah, bitch. Yeah. yeah. Fuck I'll smoke that motherfucker. Eat your motherfucking I'll eat ass. Me too. I'll eat his fucking ass. I'll yeah. eat his whole goddamn head. Yeah, I'll feed you the Gore Burger, you motherfucker. It. Yeah. Snoop, Snoop got a problem with you. I already ate you. Yeah. You understand the motherfucking problem? Yeah. You yeah. want to be a burger motherfucker for Gore Burger? Fuck. Yes. Kanye West, Adidas superstars. You know, Yeezys, the ones with the terrible orange streak. <laughs> Would you do that to the public? Would you just fucking paint an orange line on a goddamn ugly shoe and then sell it for fucking... 1300, I mean, really, that guy, come on. <laughs> Artifart. That thing looks like he woke up and shit out an idea. Fart. Fart! You hear me, Fart? What? Have you had your heart broken, Snoop? I've had my heart broken two times. No. Yeah. Tell me. Um, Tell me. I was young, dumb, full of cum. Really didn't know how to, you understand? Hey, I'm gonna back you up there. Young, dumb, and full of cum? <laughs> what do you mean? That uh, means... I'm sorry. <laughs> That's embarrassing, but what the fuck does that mean? That means I was uh, wet behind the ears. I was a youngster. I didn't really know how to... You are using more metaphors to describe what I assume is a metaphor. <laughs> Young, dumb, so you were unintelligent. Younger, so time to you was before. And you were full of ejaculate? <laughs> Yes. Really? Yes. Full. Yeah. Very Nothing full. Nothing else. No very, more. Very full because I wasn't. That's get... similar to my adolescence. <laughs> we yeah. are filled with our own ejaculate, and then the first time we have sex, it kills the person we're with. Damn. Before the cum blows out from behind them, destroying any further mobility they could have. A monkey riding a golden retriever. At a rodeo. I fucking love that. That is art. art. That's fucking art. That I art. love that fucking monkey. Thank you for playing, Snoop. This has been oh, look at him. He's right. He's like the monkey on the. I love it. The golden retriever is. It's, it's impossible to explain, but it is art. It's art. Snoop. Now, do you suffer from bloodlust? Blood loss. Bloodlust. So that's the wanting to kill and eat humans. <laughs> No, I never had bloodlust. I mean, I love hamburgers and shit. And, 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 I love hamburgers! I love them! Yes, actually, you know what that sound means. It's time for the laser round! Laser round? Yes, I will ask you a series of questions very quickly. You say the first thing that comes to mind. You have a segment like this that's better. I'm going to do one that's worse. Here you go. Five seconds to answer each question. Who's the better style icon? James Dean. Steve McQueen or Mr. Bean? Five seconds. 
James Dean. That is correct! You had to choose between the two. Gin or juice. Gin. Gin! That is incorrect! That is incorrect, it's juice. You can drink it far longer than you drink it in the morning, it's good for you. Question three. Five ticks on the clock. Snoop, if you have terribly stinky feet, would you consider a nose removal surgery for yourself and your loved ones? Please remember that the smell is so bad that the people are refusing to even be near you. <laughs> would you remove your nose so you can live in relative comfort with your family members, which you express are important, and expect your loved ones to keep their senses of smell as a test of their love? Or would you force your friends and family to remove their noses so everyone can live in comfort but jeopardize their olfactory system in other parts of their lives? Snoop, answer in the form of a sweet, sweet smoke plume. That is correct! That is correct!